allow hypopsy tatum order in the north. Coalition of Northern Groups CNG has said it will ensure that the seat at home order by indigenous people of Biafra IPOC does not succeed in any part of the North. Addressing a press briefing in Abuja titled Our Stand on the Threat of Destabilization from Southern Nigeria, the spokesman of CNG Abdelaziz Suleiman threatened to revoke the property of any person in the North who may decide to obey the one month sit at home nationwide order. It said, We have seen a new statement by IPOP directing all Igbo living anywhere in Nigeria, which includes the North, to participate in the sit at home order for one month. What we are saying is that the Igbo in the North are not threatening on our part. We are going to hold any trader that complies with IPOP directive in the North. We will definitely take steps to ensure that his business place is revoked because we have no problem with Igbo here doing their businesses peacefully. But if they comply with that order, it means they are also with the people that are actually challenging the state. We do not want any Igbo man to comply with that in northern Nigeria. Meanwhile, the CNG has also kicked against the zoning of the 2023 presidency to any geopolitical region, describing it as undemocratic. The coalition of over 60 northern groups warned that any political party which takes any step to block the window of the, for the possible emergence of a northern presidential candidate will be rejected by the northerners. It said it was extremely disappointed and profoundly agitated by the recent threats by the southern governors and elite to intimidate the north out of the presidential race. It noted that since democracy anywhere, everywhere is a game of numbers, under no circumstance will the north succumb to intimidation, a blackmail, or a threat from any quarter to abandon its collective franchise by not seeking the presidency in 2023 or any time in future. Well, we should be talking about the peace of this nation. The advice given by the CNG, the coalition of northern groups, that the Igbos in the north should not abide by the sit at home order and that they will take decisive decision if anyone is found obeying that order, I think for me is a good one. Let everybody be peaceful in every area we are operating and make sure that things don't go out of hand. Sitting them at home for one month, how will the people? How will they survive it? It's a big question I'm still thinking in my head. Again, on the CNG coming to say that the North, the South should stop asking or demanding that the North should not present a presidential candidate in 2023. I think this issue should be left out of, out of sentiment. We should not be talking about ethnicity in this type of our nation. In this life of our nation, if we want to look at the permutation, we are going to add the military era to the civilian era that we have had in this country. The North have always been ruling this, they have edge over any other part of the country. If the political parties that we currently have, the two major ones, especially PDP and FPC, if they have in their own wisdom agreed without any fear or favor, without anything, that okay, we should be rotating between North and South, even though it was not documented, it was not written. And if you look at the 1999, even when Abiola died and they were to hand over, Abdul Salami did not, he did deliberately pick somebody from the side of to touse the tension. We should not create tension for this country. This is not the time to begin to war war. This is the time to Jojo. And as we Jojo, I believe we will get it right. Well, what is your own opinion about the comment of the coalition of Northern Nigerian groups saying that nobody in the north, any businessman in the north that support the one month sit at home order by Apple, businesses will be revoked and premises will be revoked. So kindly make your opinion known as you like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Good day and God bless.